Hello and welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this episode we're going to take a look at two cement mixes that have a working feature or different working features. One by Majorette and one by Matchbox. First we take a look at the Matchbox. So take a look at the card first. 2007 Mercedes Actros it says. Here you have a uh, drawing that shows you that it has a moving feature. This is what I paid for it. Let's take a look at the back. I'll lift you guys up a little bit so you can take a closer look. I, uh, sorry for the shaky camera. So these are some other vehicles in this uh, series or set. The Duff Skip Truck, I have that one. The Mega Tractor. The Matchbox Lift, I have that one also, I did a video on it. You can find it in my playlist, Matchbox playlist. And then the MEN TGS Cargo Hauler. It has the licensed by Daimler sticker here. And it also shows that it has two working features. The cement mixer part and then the uh, thingy in the back that you can turn to choose the way the cement is going to or where it is being poured into. So let's open this one up. Oh I forgot to show the date on this one. Let's show it. So here this is copyright 2009 so probably a 2010 release. Let's first take a look at the base, Mercedes Actros cement truck it says. This is actually the first casting that was ever made of in the uh, real working rigs series because that's what this is part of. You can see there RW001. So it has a 2008 metal copyright it was first released in 2009 in a yellow color if I'm not mistaken. There's no uh, scale on the base but it is said to be uh, in the same scale as the mainline cars. I do not, not agree with that. I will show that later on but first let's take a look at the vehicle. So it's in a nice blue color. The COE cab is metal, the base is metal, just this uh, part here holding the axles is plastic and then the cement mixer part on top is plastic too. But everything you see here that is black is metal and then uh, this cab is metal too. So nicely detailed in the front, you got the Mercedes star in the grill, got a license plate, the headlights, floor is cement, it's got an interior but it's a little bit dark in there. So I got the, uh, I think this is the fuel tank, and I got some air compressors, say three axle, six wheels, And here we got the battery box, some more air tanks. And then I don't know what this is. And the exhaust stack here. And these uh, bicycle protectors. So all in all, pretty detailed. This is the working feature. The cement mixing part works very smooth. And in the back here, the outlet can turn it any way you want it. So that's cool. The lights are not detailed, just a plastic bumper with some holes in it basically. But it's got a nice weight to it. Now about the scale. This is a Volvo C30. It's in a 1 to 61 scale. I've chosen this one because I also have a smaller version of this one. So 
if you put it behind there to me look at the size of the wheels and look at the size of the, the trucks wheels they're almost the same in size uh, it's just not very realistic you know if you would be standing next to this car you would be about uh, just underneath my uh, finger here and then if you look at the, the truck uh, the height of the truck you would also almost reach the bottom of the of the window and that's not uh, that's not realistic when you're standing next to this truck your head will be around the um, the door handle here that's where your head will be uh, approximately depending on how tall you are of course but that's about where I uh, am with my head just a little bit above the, the door handle so this is not realistic as you look at the, the length of the Volvo I mean it's almost as long as the the truck so that's that's not realistic also the width of the car I mean it's almost as wide as the truck that's not uh, these are not in the scale, same scale but if you put a 172 car next to it so this is the same car a Volvo C30 but in a 172 scale it looks much more realistic let's put it behind there you see this is much more realistic than uh, than the 161 scale one if you put it next to it you see this is more what it probably would look like if these were the same scale see the car is much more narrow than the truck this is in my opinion much more realistic so therefore I believe these real working rigs by Matchbox are in 172 scale or thereabouts then let's take a look at the Majorette this is in the uh, Mayo Teams packaging this is what I paid for it so it shows here two times that it has working features this symbol here and then it shows here uh, is a symbol of a, some kind of a crane which of course is not what is in here but it's a, a general um, symbol they use to indicate that I guess so here we got some other vehicles in that set I also have this one I don't do not have the other two and here again in the back shows the working features of some of those vehicles and some info on the base so let's take a look first let's take a look at the base it says Echelle 1 to 60 so 1 to 60 scale that's about the same as the uh, oops sorry about that as about the um, about the same as the um, mainline vehicles Beton that's um, concrete in French number 3031 Majorette And here we have the production date March 17 of 2014 so a little bit more recent than the um, Mercedes from Matchbox but this is a much older casting I could not find any information on how old it actually is but I did find a uh, picture on uh, the internet uh, of uh, this one in uh, one a really old packaging you know uh, the packagings where they were horizontal in the packaging so they had a plastic base and then a uh, clear blister a plastic cover on top of it and that's how they were put in the stores horizontally in a kind of a plastic box so that's pretty old the old version had a GMC in the front 
Uh, this one does not have that anymore. I don't know if it's a licensing issue or what. Um, but this um, more depicts more of a um, fantasy casting, although it is based on a GMC apparently. It's got a very cool grill. It's got the uh, side view mirrors here in plastic that you have to be careful with, I think, because these could off break off easily. So it's got the smokestacks here, both sides. Uh, everything uh, you see here that is yellow is metal except for this middle part here the uh, engine that uh, drives the um, the cement mixer that is plastic but all the rest is uh, metal and the black part here in the middle is plastic to hold the axles down again uh, it seems to have a little bit of suspension here yeah like uh, like we're used to from Majorette, very good and smooth suspension system this is. And as you can see, uh, this cement mixer works while the vehicle is driving, so that's really cool. There's some gears underneath here, you see, and on this wheel, and then there's a uh, circle uh, gear there that, uh, that drives the, uh, the cement mixer part, so that way it turns so that's really cool and then this part also swivels like it does on the matchbox so here a little bit more detail we got a license plate S speeds 60 and 80 kilometers per hour it does make some kind of a noise but that's okay I think it's part of the charm of it so we've got a little metal step here, Mayo teams on the doors and on the hood or bonnet, a very heavy piece. Now if we put a um, 1 to 60 car next to it, this is the Mercedes AMG GT, so as you can see 1 to 60 scale also, this looks much more realistic. So I think this is actually the same size as the Majorat says. I think they are correct by stating that. I think this is really realistic. So that's very cool. Now let's put them all together. As you can see here, the um, matchbox looks way smaller than the matrix. Put them behind one another. See, there's a world of difference. I know in real life these American style trucks will be a little bit bigger than the European style trucks, but there can never be such a big difference, there's no way. There would also only be a small difference and you know this is a COE and this one has the engine in front of the cabin. So this should actually be probably a little bit higher than this one. So this is clear that there's a substantial scale difference here. put the cars next to it that compared to the, sc the scale difference that's about what I think is correct so there you go I thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you again next time bye bye